I have some awesome time management tips for you, specifically if you have ADHD or ADHD-like characteristics. Stay with me and I hope you find it very helpful and informative. My name is Rosanna Hernandez and I am a former classroom teacher and I currently work in the public schools as an assistant principal. Now, a lot of the ideas that you're gonna hear are things that I have done in my own life uh, because of my conditions and characteristics. My mind wanders all the time. I used to be really bad when I was a kid. I got better at it with time. And so a lot of what I'm sharing are things I've had to learn over the years and also from working with students myself as a classroom teacher. So the first thing I wanna tell you is how to do short increments. This is probably one of the best pieces of advice I can give you. You have to work on things in short increments. So here's what I mean by that. If you have a sheet of paper with 10 problems on it, you can't sit and do all 10 problems at the same time. Not if you're the kind of person where your mind is wondering. Give yourself time. Say, okay, I'm only going to focus on two problems. After two problems, then I'm going to take a break. Then I'm going to do two more problems, take a break. Two more problems, take a break. And a break could be 10 seconds. It's fine. But that's how you have to break down these tasks. Every task when you have ADHD is a big task. And so that's why you have to break them into these simple steps to be able to do them in short increments. Next, when you have step-by-step -step things that you want to do, gamify it. Okay, you're going to say, okay, I have to clean my garage and my garage is big, it's disorganized. Okay, we're gonna write down specific steps. This is where checklists are our life. You have to come up with, okay, what do I wanna do? Why don't you write down on the checklist, north wall, south wall, west wall, east wall, whatever that might be. And, and then you can say, okay, take everything off of the north wall, for example, then sweep, then do the walls then put things back, create three boxes, one for donating, one for uh, throwing out, right? So these are steps. You need specific steps and you need some kind of a checklist that you can cross off as you go because that's going to be the game that you're going to play with yourself is how many steps are involved and how if every time you are achieving a step, you're climbing on a step and getting closer and closer to finishing that big task, you're kind of giving yourself a pat on the back you're celebrating your success. Next, you have to develop a do now mindset so that way you're not procrastinating anything. It's all in your head. You have to say, okay, I'm gonna take this pencil and I know that the pencil or pen belongs here. I'm not gonna tell myself I'll do it later. That's out of my vocabulary. I'm not thinking that way. Every time I use something, I'm putting it back. Every time I need to go throw a trash away or something, I'm going to do it now. I'm not going to put it for later. So you're going to work on that mindset. And the best thing you can do is at the end of each day, reflect on how well you did. If you did a good job that day, staying with your goals and staying with your tasks and not postponing things, not procrastinating, give yourself a little celebration. But if you are, then you know what? You have to say, okay, I'm not doing it tomorrow. And you get better and better at this because it becomes a better habit, a healthy habit. And then if you have multiple things that, like I know how we are, right? Like people with a lot of times, um, when they have too many ideas, too many things that call their attention and distractions, it's very it's not a bad thing because it kind of shows creativity. You're thinking of a lot of things all at the same time. The best thing to do is if you get ideas, you write them down and you put them aside. So for me, what works is these things, and I've talked about this in previous videos. So I'm going to show you. This is just a manila, not a manila folder, but it's a pocket folder. So they're very sturdy. That's why I use these. They're sturdy. So then every time I have an idea, I write it on something and then I put it here and then I put a paper clip. So if you notice, this video says time management tips for ADHD. Well, I wrote it. It's here. And so now I'm doing it and I have my checklist because my ADHD brain says to me, like, I'm going to forget, you know, so, OK, I'm recording. I have the name I'm recording. The next step is going to be the editing. I have the checklist on top that I can do. 
So it's very important when you have ideas, when things are distracting you to write them down and then prioritize what's important, what's not. So look, let me show you. Look how many folders I have, how many projects and things. But you know what? These are the ones that I'm going to work on in the next five days. These are my priorities. Because again, being able to focus on what's important is key to our, how we manage our time. If I tackle one of those things, it's going to like, basically, I'm going to procrastinate what's really important, which is these things that are in front of me. Whether I like them or not, it doesn't matter. I need to tackle these because they are more priority. They're more important right now than those there. Those I'll tackle once a week. I'll go through them and I'll make sure to like pick out what the priorities are next week and the following week and the following week. I am going to suggest that you subscribe on efficiencyandorganization.com as well as on this channel because I have a lot of good information that I release that have to do with being well managed with time, having good plans and systems in place so that way we can be successful together and you can join the community of everyone else who's on board and that way we're all helping each other reach our goals. I will have more for you in future videos and I'll catch you in the next one.